Radical. Welcome to Radical Rapid Fire Combo response for November 8th through November 14, 2021. Short comments, quick replies. Scepter Sever. It could have been awesome. Yeah, what might have been? GTA Trilogy, you would think, would have been amazing. Just imagine. Imagine what was sold to us. Being able to play these three legendary games, but, you know, with new controls, with uh, new weather effects, with uh, new textures, with new lighting, all this stuff. And you do have some of that, but almost everything that was promised was a complete and utter lie. Yeah, it could have been awesome. Benjamin Young, Mario Brothers movie was a great Blade Runner sequel. Okay. It wasn't an official sequel, was it? Like it didn't have any ties to it. Uh, I haven't seen Mario Brothers. I know it's got uh, that one guy is the villain, and it's got the Goombas that look kind of weird. And it doesn't look anything like Mario, like the video game. They didn't make it look like the video game. You would think it would look like the video game and kind of cartoony, but it didn't. So does it look more like Blade Runner? I, I don't know. I don't know where you're going with this, but it's fascinating. Martyville. Is it really milk, or is it Turkish Rocky mixed with water? I guess that, too, counts as milk, since the Turkish people tend to call it Asian suti, which means lion's milk. Okay, whenever Captain Kirk leaves a milk glass, that is milk in there. Okay, sometimes, Serbot42, he leaves a container, and I'm not sure what's in there. Maybe I don't want to ask what's in there. But generally, people leave the milk, you know? And then some people come by that, you know, don't get to leave the milk. But it's okay, because they leave cookies. Now, we talk about lion's milk. Could you imagine having to be that guy that has to go out and milk the lion? Jeez. I hope he has a lot of padding, because the lion can't be that happy to be, uh, to be milked. Honestly, he lost a lot of his hair, which was part of his image. I feel like he lost too much to hide and then went missing. It's obvious he's wearing a wig now. On his return, he should just cut off all his hair and keep going. We're all of his fans for his content. Don't really care what he looks like. Talk about Smooth McGroove. I mean, it's possible, you know. And that could be a possible reason why somebody, like, leaves YouTube that was in front of the camera. Maybe something happened to them or they lost their hair. Uh, it's a part of being a guy. I don't think... Very few guys, probably. I don't know the percentage, but, uh, you know, whether you're losing your hair or it turns gray... Um, I guess you can find comfort in the solace that that everyone loses everything eventually, you know? So that's one way of looking at it. Even though it's a little bit depressing, yeah, you know, if you have a full head of hair, then you lose your hair. Don't worry, you know? In a matter of years, you're going to lose everything else too. George Alves, I love the retro games you pick for gameplay. Laugh out loud, you're the best, Rick. Well, when it comes to the retro games I pick for gameplay, honestly, just trying to get through this SNES folder, I got about I got about 500 games in this between the American games and the Japanese games. Of course, way too much for the for me to play in the rest of my lifetime. So I got this ROM folder and I got a screen capture and I put those together with you know in the comic cuts. Is were you talking about the comic cuts? Mostly I use it for the comic cuts. But uh, yeah, it's just like mostly random games. There's some games I just won't play that are terrible, but sometimes I'm like, okay, I might just play this just for laughs. Like I played, you know, some Japanese horse racing games, you know, just for laughs, because I think we were talking about Review Take USA, and he has that uh, fascination with the horses, for instance. Ray Durazo, uh, do you watch baseball? Uh, not really. I don't. You know, it's not that I couldn't get interested or into it. But I'm far more interested in basketball, following basketball, than a close second would be. Well, probably distant second would be NFL. You know, mostly, like, I actually follow a lot of the happenings and the trades happening around basketball. I find it very interesting. Baseball, I mean, I'll make an effort. Maybe I'll try next season. But uh, congratulations to the Braves. AJT Comics brand. His gut getting big. Are you talking about Metal Jesus? And to be honest... You know, I could probably weave that into a four or five minute upload. You know, maybe uh, I could do something where he's coming out of the bathroom or whatnot. Hmm. Wow, my gut's getting big. Oh, no, I can't see my hidden gems. And it would make everyone happy and everyone would applaud and stuff. 
But, uh, you know, I'd just be kind of soulless at this point, really. I mean, to me, because I don't find that really interesting. And also, someone left a comment about his hair, how he dyes his hair. I'm like, I don't care about that kind of stuff. You know, I'm a critical satirist. Yeah, I suppose that could be considered under that. But, like, I, I mean, like, I don't know. Yeah, like, like is that... I mean, he's got getting big? Okay. Like, but, I mean, ultimately, like, what do I care about his gut getting big? If he's scamming people and he's doing some meat begging, yeah, I kind of care, but his gut getting big? Captain Brambles. I stopped buying games I wanted to collect and now only collect games I want to actually play. Well, that's great, Captain. You know, that's a great choice. A lot of people, far too many people, I think, collect games and they have no intention of playing the games. Or maybe... They're just getting something because it's on sale. But if you buy something that's on sale, I'll use an example Black Friday. I bought Titanfall 2 several years back because it was on sale Black Friday. Well, if I never get around to playing that, if I never play that, then guess what? That's just wasted money. I'm probably going to wind up selling it because I just I don't have the time to get to play Titanfall 2. And some people are going to say, you got to play Titanfall 2. Like, again, I got a ROMs folder that has like 500 games in it, you know? I got four too, far too many things to play. Scary Jersey guy. I hate to be that guy, Rick. You should hate to be that guy. You should. No, I hate to be that guy, Rick, but point the commenter in my direction. Retro games and retro reviews still exist, but guys like Plastic Jesus get all the notoriety attention. Yeah, I will point people in the direction of Scary Jersey guy. It's a great channel. This guy's not an e-beggar. He doesn't want your donations. You know, he just wants to talk about retro games and he uh, plays stuff on the live streams. I saw some of your Silent Hill live stream, uh, Scary Jersey Guy. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Wi Fi 961. Dude broke street date, essentially admitted to getting an early copy, and he uploaded the video before the game released. He also never mentioned having a review copy, so he could potentially broken the user license agreement for their software. Well, do we even really know? Can we verify that what he got was directly from Nintendo? Correct me if I'm wrong here. He didn't show the actual email in real time. Like, he did not show that. Same thing with John Riggs. They didn't show the actual email in time. Is it quite possible that those two things could be connected? It's a possibility. It's always a possibility, you know? Don't put it past these YouTubers to upload things just for clicks. Do not, because that's their job. You know, if someone told you, hey, you know what? You can get a brief raise. You can get yourself a raise just by telling a little white lie that ultimately, months down the road, everyone's going to forget. But you know what? The money, you're going to be able to hold on to that money. So unless someone actually shows proof that they got a letter from Nintendo or the makers of Popeye, do not believe it, especially if it's connected at the same time period and the two people talk back and forth.